I'm going to work on my 2017 composite art journal. The problem is, I don't know what I want to do. I cannot get inspired to do any specific page. So when I hit those days when I know I want to do art, but I'm just not quite there yet as to exactly what I want to put down on the page, one thing I do is collage down scraps of paper. You can see I have lots of scraps left from various projects. This is an example of something I did last year on composition book pages. And then I just tore them out and folded them in half. And they make some fun, trashy art journal pages. I'm not going to be making signatures in the same way that I did here. But I am going to collage down all these scraps. Look at these. They just accumulate as you do your projects. And I'm slow to throw things away because, well, I can use it sometime. And I find that when I do this, I really do get inspired. Now I may go ahead and after I get everything clutched down, paint over it. I don't know. I may leave it. I may do something on the back. I don't know. I'll just see when I get there. One thing that I like to do when I'm collaging is to sort my scraps in some sort of a logical order. Now it may be like I have here, I have painted tissues here. In here I have words and text and I have these two perfume advertisements that I really like. I think that will add some subject matter to my collage. So I put those together. Over here I have just random sized papers. Over here, really this is random sized papers too. It can go in there. This is a tissue. And here I have all my little scrappies and over here I have fabric. Now that's how I ordered them out today. The next time I do this, I may do it by size. I may say these are larger, these are smaller, these are medium sized, these are just tiny bits. It just depends on what you have sitting around. Now I think that I'm going to get started by putting down the larger pieces first and then working in the smaller pieces. happy with it. For a pile of scraps that would have been thrown in the trash, I think it really came together. And I really do like this mixed media paint from Plaid Enterprises. I got it on sale at Walmart for, for 75 cents. But I like this purple because it's opaque. 
Now I had this blue too, but this is transparent. So if I put this on, you would see some of the images underneath. But I don't think I'm going to because I think I just want to border this along the edges here just to tie the page in. is mostly dry. I still want to do something more to it. I think that I'm going to take this Biggie Stabilo marker. It's just like a Stabilo pencil, only it's got a fat lead. And I really like it for drawing around journaling spots. finished with my collage page I'm really happy how it turned out it constantly amazes me how I can pick elements out of trash scraps from other projects collage them down and come up with a page that means something the elements tied together this was an advertisement for Ralph Lauren perfume and it's a lady on a white horse and her knight in shining armor giving her a kiss. And it's Ralph Lauren romance perfume. And then down here I have a scrap of a page that was a painted scrap paint out of a book that's titled Tales of Fantasy. And I thought, wow, you know, that kind of goes with the subject matter of romance and fantasy. This word spirit just kind of gives the whole page a title, but that's not what I'm going to call this page. I'm going to call this page Your Royal Highness. Why? Well, because of this text in here. And I didn't even put this text element on this page with the idea of, of contributing to the page. I just collaged it down but it says may i remind your royal highness that falkenstein is 300 miles away and i like that phrase your royal highness so that's what i'm going to title this page your royal highness i bordered it with mixed media purple paint and then I used my Biggie Stabilo marker to bring out the perfume bottle and the text elements. I really like how this page came together. When I started it, I just was not inspired to do anything today. As I went through the process of putting these scrap elements down and picking out different things and putting them in place, Look what happened. I'm really happy with it. I think this will be the start of another section in my 2017 composite art journal, and I'll probably just call it Collage Pages. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next page.